Hey guys, I'm the Maha Mechanic and today I'm going to be showing you how to rotate your tires on your car or truck. Now today I'm going to be doing it on Tesla Model Y, but this applies to any car or truck. Now because your vehicle's tires perform different jobs, they often wear differently. To make sure your tires wear evenly and last longer, you want to rotate them as indicated in your owner's manual. If you notice your tires are wearing unevenly, it's most likely due to the fact that you're out of alignment. If you take it to a tire shop, most tire shops do an alignment there. I know Brakes Plus does one, but to get them realigned, you want to take them to one of these places. So with that being said, let's get on to the tire rotation. If you want to learn how to specifically uh, raise up your Tesla with Tesla pucks right here, um, click this video up here. <laughs> Um, that's where I go over how to properly raise up your Tesla Model Y. But for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to rotate your tires and not worry so much on uh, the proper way of raising up your car. Because you should know how to do that if you're going to be rotating your tires. But I will still get a, a general overview of what you're supposed to do. So first of all, you want to look in your owner's manual and find the jack points for your car. For the Tesla, they got these little holes that you put your Tesla pucks in, um, and the Tesla pucks protect the battery from getting damaged when you're raising it up. So this is the proper way to do it. You do not want to do it with like a piece of wood or something that could damage the battery. And if you damage the battery, you're pretty much screwed because it's an electric car. I uh, just want to make sure they're underneath all the jack points um, before you raise them up. Um, I will be using a lift instead of a jack, just for the, the sake of this video. So let's get it in the air. Now if you have a lift, I'm just going to go to the first click, um, or the first resting point, which will put the car about uh, two and a half to three feet in the air, so that I can work on the tires easily. And also if you're using a lift, you want to make sure that uh, these teeth slide into here so that the, the arm the arm locks so it doesn't move around and you see here it's almost there you just want to twist this there you go it's slid in there nice and easy just want to make sure go around on all of them make sure they're in there that one's in there give it a little wiggle there you go so now we can continue raising it up now you're going to lower it onto its resting points And there you go. Now we can start removing the plastic covers and getting ready to take off the wheels. Now to remove the plastic covers, you wanna come here and you wanna feel where the clips meet the actual wheel itself. And you just wanna pull it out, or the other side, that side out, and there you go. Comes right out. So, set this in the side where it's not gonna get scratched up or anything. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do this on the other three wheels. Now the next thing you wanna do is to find what size lug nuts you have. So this one is a 21 millimeter. And next you wanna go get your impact gun and start removing the lug nuts. Take the hose from your compressor if you're using an air impact gun. Plug it in to your gun. Now we're ready to take off the lug nuts. Now when you're taking off the lug nuts, the order really doesn't matter in which you take it off. You can just do whichever ones you want. But um, when you start putting them back on, there is a specific way that you have to put them back on. And I'll, I'll show you that when I get to it. So let's take off all, just take off all the lug nuts. Now that you got all the lug nuts off, we can remove the wheel and set it aside. And now, let's go remove all the other wheels. And again, the order doesn't matter in which you take them off. Now these bolts are torqued down pretty tight, so I'm going to go with my more powerful impact gun. Now 
Now to properly rotate your tires, you're going to want to take the front two, flip flop them and move them back so that the uh, driver's side front is now going to become the passenger side rear, as you can see here in this diagram right here. So that means that the back ones are just going to come straight up to where the front is. So get your wheels situated in the spot where they need to go back to, and then you can start putting them back on. Now that you've swapped around all your tires, you can start putting them back on. Line up all the holes, the holes on the tire. There you go, now you can start putting in your lug nuts, getting them finger tight on there, and then just snug them up with the, with the impact gun, and then we're gonna come back later and torque them all down to 29 foot-pounds with our torque wrench. Now when you're tightening your lug nuts, you do not, I repeat, you do not want to just go in a circle. That is not how you're supposed to do it, because if you just go in a circle, it's going to be on there crooked. And the way you want to put them on so they're not crooked is by going in a star pattern. So you want to go start from here, go here, 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 and here. So you're going like the opposite lug nut every single time. Don't want to do ones that are next to each other. So put your impact gun on one of the lower settings so you don't over tighten the bolts and then do that star pattern. Also make sure it's going forward and not backwards. Just hit them up one more time. And there you go. We'll come back and torque those once we've lowered the car back onto the ground. Now, just do the same thing for the rest of the tires. I'm going to cut to when I'm finished doing all the tires. Wow! Good job. And there you go. Now we can lower the car down and start torquing our lug nuts up to spec. Grab your torque wrench, undo the lock nut, and then you're going to go to 129 foot pounds, which is just about right here. So. That's 110. That's 120. That's 129, right there. Tighten the lock nut. And now, we can start torquing our lug nuts to spec. Remember the star pattern. There you go. Now let's go to the other wheels and do the same thing. Now we got our wheels torqued down in the spec, we can reinstall our wheel covers. Now when, you, when you're reinstalling them, you want to make sure this hole is lined up with the valve stem. You want to make sure that the center where the Tesla lug is, is lined up with the hole in the middle. Push in a little bit there, keep your hand there so that it doesn't move from the middle. And you're just gonna tap them all back into place. And there you go, your covers are reinstalled. Just do that for all 
four wheels, and then you're done. And there we go, that's another job well done. If you found this video informative, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.